Hello kindergarten and welcome back to art. I'm so happy that you're here. We're down in my studio where I have all my cool art supplies. So this project is going to take a couple weeks to do. So if you don't get it all finished today, that's okay. And my glasses are a little crooked here, guys. And even if you are watching the video today and you say, oh my goodness, I don't have this stuff. Well, relax because you have all month to do it, okay? So don't feel like if you're watching Mr. Price's video now that you have to do Mr. Price's video today. You can wait and do it because at the end of the month we'll check in and we'll see what projects you need help with or that you need to finish with, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some simple supplies laying around the house, all right? So we have some glue, we have some markers, we have some paper. Now this paper that I have is a little bit thicker than regular plain paper. So if you have the paper that sounds like this, that's great. And if you don't, well, you can use the plain white paper you have laying around, it's okay. And I have some scissors. And I just grabbed some other art supplies like a cup or a paper towel tube. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use those, but I just have them in case. So we're gonna need two pieces of paper. One piece of paper is going to be the bottom, and one piece of paper is what we're going to use to build with, because we are going to be making a castle that a king or a queen can live in. And because it's October, I thought once we make the castle, you can decide if you want to make it look like a spooky castle, or as an artist, you can always make it how you want it to look. So if you want it to look like rainbows and unicorns are shooting out of it, then great, then do that. But so the first piece of paper, what I'd like you to do is you're gonna have to fold it in half like this, okay? So you might need some help getting that folded in half, but that's pretty easy. And now when you open it up, you will see there's a line going down the middle. So if you just take your scissors right here, very carefully cut. Okay, you have two pieces. Put one aside because you're gonna need that one later. But this is gonna start to build the castle. So what I want you to do is let me move you up so I can see you. See this piece of paper here? It's nice and long, right? I want you to take the top and fold it down. Try to be neat. That way you have a shape that looks like this now. Do you see? I just folded the paper in half. Super easy, right? And now this is going to become the main part of the castle. But I need to get this to glue onto this paper because this is the paper where I'm gonna be gluing the castle. So what I wanna do is at the bottom, if you just take, I like to call these little glue tabs. And if you put, just if you bend the bottom like that, do you see how Mr. Price bent the bottom? And that's now something I can glue my castle to. So if you are working with an adult at home, maybe they can help you just kind of flip the bottom up like that. But if I show you like that, you, it kind of creates like little feet. Do you see those little feet? Okay. So now I'm gonna take my Elmer's glue and I'm gonna put a little glue just at the bottom and I'm gonna stick it on and when I stick it on make sure that you don't smush it you want to make sure that it has a nice little air pocket inside there okay so here is the beginning part of my castle and now to start to make it look like a castle because right now all I see is a piece of paper I'm gonna take a marker and I'll use a blue one for this so you can see. And at the top, where Mr. Price has it folded, I'm gonna put some lines across. And I wanna make sure that they're not too long, because I don't wanna start hacking into the castle, right? But I wanna make sure that when I draw them, keep them spaced out so use your eyeball don't put them too close together because you're gonna see why in a second and now what I'm gonna do is using my scissors I'm gonna cut those lines you ready 
So I drew one, two, three, four, five, six lines on mine. So I'm gonna cut those lines like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now, what I'm going to do is create a pattern. A pattern is a series of items that keep repeating. So watch, this one will stand up, this one I'll flip down, this one I'll stand up, this one I'll flip down, this one I'll stand up, this one I'll flip down, and this one I'll stand up. See how it created a pattern? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And now, using my scissors, I'm going to cut all the down ones off. Ready? Off, off, off. And now, if I shake those guys out of there, do you see how it created the top of the castle. All right, so boys and girls, we have the beginning part of our castle, and here we have the battlements. That's what those are called. So now we're ready to continue. So I want to create two towers on the side of my castle. So remember that other piece of paper that we cut off in the beginning? So now I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna create a tower. So to create a tower, I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to roll it up to make a tube and I'm going to take a little glue and just squirt it on the edge and keep rolling and you want to make sure when you roll this up you can get your fingers inside. If you can't get your fingers inside I think you made your, your tube a little too skinny. Now, if you're having trouble making a tube, you can always use a paper towel tube. Look at that, they almost look the same. Okay, so just a little tip. And now, I wanna get my tube to stick on my paper. So, I'm gonna take my scissors, and I'm just gonna cut little tiny pieces at the bottom like this. Almost, it's gonna look like the battlements on the top, right? Do you see how Mr. Price cut little tiny cut marks? And now, if I take those little tiny cut marks and I just flip them out with my finger. Look at that. That gave me something that I can use to stick to the paper. So now if I take my glue, and just flick a little glue onto those little sticky things, I can stick that down and give it a little press. And here we have the beginning part of our project. So I'm going to let this dry and next week we're going to link back up together to see the next part of our project. Now, one thing I always tell the kids in school, and this is really important for you guys to do too, is on the back of your project, always, whoop, always write your name because when we come to school or when we're in school, we have to know who the artist is, okay? So always make sure you write your name on all your projects. So, again, this is the beginning part. We're gonna stop here for today. And, and boys and girls, I want you to leave it white. Don't color on it yet because we're not done building it, okay? And just practice. If you get it, great. And just hold on to it. You don't need to send me a picture yet. You can send me a picture when it's finished, okay? If you, Of course, if you wanna show me, I'm more than happy to see it. You can send it in Seesaw, okay? But we're gonna let this dry. And next week, we're gonna keep building our castle. So stay tuned, it's really important you check back in because we're gonna be adding more parts to the castle. And when we're done, we're gonna have a whole kingdom with everyone's castles together. It's gonna be so cool. So I will see you again next week. I hope you had fun today. Give it a try. 
and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great day, boys and girls. Bye.